Hello, loves DSKC Gaming. Happy DLC day, guys. So, this is Dark Side back again with another video. This is going to be kind of like a first impressions type of uh, thing with this DLC. I'm not going to be showing any gameplay because I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. This shit is a... Dude, they did a really good job on this. I am so, so impressed. Like, this is awesome, bro. So... Just like I told you guys, you're going to probably want at least $10 million, but like I did say, $5 million might get you in the door. Actually, $3 million, I did say, would probably get you the business and get you in the door. But $3 million will probably get you, like, the agency, basically what's going to happen when you spawn in, and uh, you're going to get a call from Lamar, and he's going to tell you about a business opportunity with Franklin, and uh, that's where the agency comes into play. Okay, so... Um, and then you just got to go to the diamond, or not diamond, what is it, to uh, Dynasty 8 executive and go to agencies. The lowest one I saw on the on the map was 2.1 mil. The most expensive one was 2.8 mil. That's the one that I purchased, okay? So um, I don't think it really matters. They're all going to do the same thing. Um, I, I'm pretty sure they all look the same for the most part. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys real quick. As far as the weapons go that we got released, I know that they showed a few different weapons in the trailer. This is the only thing that they released right now. It's called the uh, the heavy rifle. You look like okay. a friend of mine. And the only thing about this thing oh, here, odds, huh? it's worth it's 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 expensive, man. It it goes for four hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. Is it worth it? Not really. Um, it's a good rifle. I mean, it really is. But you got to look at it this way. It's not even able to be upgraded to a mark ii variant okay and it only holds 60 rounds with the extended clip uh, i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have to double check that again but i'm pretty sure i bought the extended clip on it which it only holds 60 rounds which the uh special carbine mark ii has 60 rounds so the regular uh special carbine holds, holds 100 rounds okay so it's like, why would you spend four hundred and something thousand dollars on a weapon that's going to have the same amount of rounds as a Mark II weapon? The only reason why I could see them doing this is if, as if this weapon is just as powerful as a Mark II weapon. I don't know why they would do this. I haven't really used it on players. I've only used it on NPCs, and it seems about the same. It seems about pretty much the same as the special carbine. But is it worth spending the four hundred fifteen thousand dollars for? Absolutely not. Like if you already have the special carbine, just use that. I mean, yeah, maybe later on, once you get some extra money, if you want to purchase it, go ahead and do that. But I wouldn't recommend you doing it at all. Okay, so this next clip here is going to be... What is this one going to be? I'm, I'm just showing you guys some of the new vehicles real quick. Okay, so those are the three new vehicles. I don't know if you can see them. The, uh, uh, what are they called? The uh, Champion, the Anus, uh, Anus, what is it called? The Anus Jubilee... And then another one, a couple other ones. There's actually, they released six altogether. I believe this one here, let's see what this one's called. Um, you can see it down there on the right. This one is the, I can't remember, I can't see it from here because I'm, I'm, this is like pre-recorded. But I do want to show you guys this. These come with slick mines, okay? You can add slick mines to this, all right? So they, they don't blow up vehicles, but what they do is they basically explode and they drop like an oil slick behind you. So this is really cool, man. They, this is something from story mode. Um, you know, you're able to either put like slick, uh, like a, like an oil slick behind you, and then the cars behind you skid out of control. Look, see that? So once they run over, it doesn't stop the car or anything, and, and you know, but this is really cool to probably troll somebody. It would probably make somebody spin out of control, and then you could probably like make them crash, especially if they're trying to chase after you and trying to like shoot you out of your vehicle or something. That would be really badass, you know. So just check it out man but those are pretty expensive this car i think i've dropped like 20 million dollars already or 21 mil already but i got um a lot of the upgrades that go in the agency you're gonna see here in a second i'm gonna show you guys the inside of the agency in case you haven't gotten it yet and you haven't started this i would recommend <clears throat> i would recommend start all these jobs by yourself you'll appreciate it more they're not that hard but they are, some of them are really overpowered and difficult. You might want to have another person with you. But first couple of jobs aren't too bad. I don't want to get too much into detail on it. Like I said, I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. So I'm going to be pulling this into the garage real quick. So, all right. Now I just want to show you guys something else here. Um, I don't remember what the order of the videos are. But yeah, that's one of the things you can add. 
So all of the purchasable vehicles that you can get, the new vehicles, three of them, I think three or four of them are armored here. Okay, I'm going to show you real quick. So um, if you go up here to the second floor, maybe it's downstairs. I think it's upstairs. That's upstairs. If you go upstairs to the second floor, okay, this holds, I think, 20 vehicles or something like that, I think. If you go upstairs to the second floor, um, you'll see that uh, it's listed all the vehicles here. Okay, but there's like three or four of the vehicles that you can purchase that are new. And it'll say Imani, Imani um, modifications or something like that. And those vehicles, they can all put like, you could put like, uh, like bulletproof plating on the side of them. Have the proximity mine things like with the oil slick. <clears throat> Only certain vehicles. Not all of them do it. It, it, it'll tell you which ones are uh, able to be upgraded and modified like through her. It'll say Imani special certified or special modifications. So that's how you know which ones will be able to be modified. All right. Just go down there in your garage and go to that computer. Okay. So this is our office. And I just wanted to show you this real quick. Okay. So you cannot do this in an invite only lobby because this is technically a business. So you have to do all this inside of a, in, in a public lobby. All right, so if you're thinking you're going to do all this in an invite-only lobby, it doesn't work. Or a solo lobby, it's not going to work. So this, what happens is the, when you get paid the money from the jobs that you do, it's all going to get put into the safe here. You can empty the safe out as you go or just leave it all and stock it in there and just let it all build up. You know what I mean? And just stock it up. So basically, there's little contact missions you could do. Like I told you guys, you have to take out a gang boss or something like that. And then there's other VIP missions that you know you'll see as you go. So I'm putting my money in the bank real quick. Okay. So the next video I think is going to be showing you guys like uh, the, the personal quarters and things like that. I just can't remember which way I put the videos in order or whatever, you know. Oh, yeah. Okay. So here, this is where you go and find the agency real quick. Go to Dynasty 8 Executive and then you'll see agencies. I bought the most expensive one. It's 2.8 mil. But there are other ones that are like 2.1 mil and 2.3 mil. I think there's four of them all together. Okay. So, basically, if you go downstairs, that's where the uh, the guy at the desk is, and he could do a few things for you. He can hook you up and, um, you know, get you like a... He can basically do like a fast travel option for you. But anyway, okay, so now I'm going to show you guys something with the vehicles that's really cool. So, you can, <clears throat> with the Amani modifications, the, the hacker girl Amani... You can do something really, really cool to these vehicles. If you go to RC cars and you modify it a certain way, you can make your car a fucking RC car. Look at this. Turn your car into an RC car, dude. You don't have, you're not even driving, bro. It's This is totally RC. Like, it's totally just like you're controlling it, you know, but you're not even in the vehicle. So if somebody blows it up or something, you don't die. All right, but you can troll the shit out of someone with this. You can use the oil slick on this. You can use the um, the machine guns. You know, you can, and it blows up too. You can go up, park up next to somebody, go off the radar and blow them up. I don't know how it works if they can see that you're on the radar next to them or if it's just a random car next to you. Because I, I pulled up behind somebody earlier, started shooting at him with the machine guns, and he had no idea I was there. And he started taking off and going. So it was, it's, this is so badass that you can do that, dude. It's so cool. MMI. So I'm going to call in that. a different vehicle, I think, or maybe the same one. I don't remember. I'm going to go back to the agency and show you guys a few things. Okay, so here we are back in the agency again. I'm going to let you guys see the armory. Actually, first, no, this guy here. Go to the desk here, and this guy, he can, like, get you a helicopter for free. He can call in any one of the vehicles that's in your garage. Call it and just, you know, boom, you, you wind up spawning out in it, and you just put get put out on the street already in the vehicle. So... That's really cool. That's a cool feature. He could also do a fast travel to certain locations. Here, see LSIA, it's on there. You could change, I'm pretty sure you could change locations and get fast traveled around the map. That's another cool feature. Okay, so this is the Enos Jubilee. See, that's the one I chose. I came out in this, and that's going to end that clip right there. You just got to go up downstairs to the guy, to the reception guy, and he'll put you in there and hook you up. Get you either in a helicopter or in a, in a car to just leave in. Okay, so this, this is basically another thing I like. So you can call Franklin when you're out and about. And there's a couple different... Um, oh, I cut the clip off. 
All right, maybe that's a little bit later on. But anyway, we'll go back to that. Um, okay, so yeah, this is back at the agency again. And now I'm going to take you up and show you like the, uh, the uh, personal quarters. Looks like a Wicked Mickey Mouse over there. I don't know what the hell that is. But yeah, I have like, you know, the bed and everything. You could go down to the garage. You, can, you can't get to the agency from here. You have to go back up the stairs, which is kind of strange. But um, the, the agency and your personal quarters looks like it's on the same floor, I think. It's so confusing. This place, I'm still going to get, it's going to take a minute to get used to it. So you got your clothing in here. You got your bed, all that stuff. So I know I'm just trying to get you guys psyched for this if you don't have this. I want you guys to grind, man, and get this stuff. So, you got a couple arcade games in here. It's pretty cool. That's the hacker girl, Amani, and her, like, there's another hacker girl there, too. I don't know who the other person is. But, yeah, this is the personal quarters. Okay, so now we're going to go into the office again. And we've got to go through the office and go downstairs to the armory. Okay, so I'm going to show you what the armory does. I think it's, like, four or 500000 for the armory. It's pretty expensive. So, um... Like I said, I dropped like 21 mil already, but I got like four cars, got the armory, got everything else, in the, all the extras inside of this. You don't really need this. Honestly, this would be one of the last things that I would get, the armory. Don't waste your money on it. If you have the money, you can get it, but basically you'll, you'll see here what it's going to do. Basically, what you do inside of the armory is... Um, Here, we're gonna go out. We got you. Got to go kind of upstairs and go to the army. Right, it's it's so confusing, two. man. And the way I did these clips is like really really screwy. So I'm sorry. That's Franklin's office right there, and then we have our office over here. And now I'm going inside of the armory. I'm going upstairs. You got to go upstairs from the off from your office to the armory. Okay, so it's on the second floor. The only thing is, okay, so really short, really quick. I'm gonna show you. You can get snacks here on this counter. Okay. There's snacks, and then we have, like, little energy drinks, which is kind of like, you know, there's junk. I think it's like kind of like a, a jester or whatever, basically like a knockoff of jester or something. There's the hackers again. This is our office here, and now we're going to go into the armory. Okay, so in this armory, you could basically do all the same things as, like, you can do in the ammo nation. It's, uh, any weapons you want, you can actually pick up some, pick up some health packs here. Um, you can buy like the earpieces, night vision, rebreather, stuff like that. If you really, really want it, got pretty much everything. But in if you don't want to waste your money on this, don't, because you could just go to the ammo nation, do the same thing. This guy here, he can refill all your weapons, get you like hooked up with Mark II variants, things like that. We don't really do it ourselves in here anymore. Um, you know, basically you just come up to this guy, he'll get you anything, parachutes, grenades. The only thing I don't like about this is anytime you want like grenades or sticky bombs, you have to purchase them one at the time. You can't press X and grab all of them at the same time. Kind of like how you do in the interaction menu, you can't do that. You have to do like one, 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 one. It's kind of a pain. You're probably better off buying it through the uh, interaction menu. So, or going to the ammo nation. So this is kind of like a waste of money. I wouldn't recommend getting this. Not unless you really, really want to, unless you want all your stuff like filled up before you know you go do a mission or something like that i wouldn't recommend really getting this don't spend the money on it if you don't if you don't have it don't stretch yourself out and and try and get it you can upgrade certain weapons in here but they're basically the same upgrades as in the ammo nation and if you already have like a mark ii variant all you could do is that you could just he could help you get like the ammo for like that whatever that mark ii weapon is or that mark ii variant See, like, all my ammo is full already, so... But what doesn't make sense is, like, all these ammos, yeah, like, you could press X and purchase the full amount of ammo. Like, kind of like you do in the interaction menu. But you can't do it with, like, sticky bombs and grenades and stuff like that, any throwables. Which doesn't really make much sense. So, don't waste your money on that. The armor is nothing really special. Okay, and I think this is the last thing I want to show you. Um, okay, so, when you call Franklin... There's a lot of different abilities you can do. There's, like, different features and things like that. Um, you can call him and get, like, an ammo and a health drop and an armor drop. Uh, I'll show you here. Call him, and then he'll give you, a, like, a, a, you know, a list of different things you can get. Okay, so there's, like, the ammo drop, ammo health drop, armor drop, whatever. You can also request a company SUV um, or, like, the chauffeur SUV can request like a vehicle to drive for yourself or you can have the chauffeur come i wouldn't recommend the chauffeur doing it this guy drives like shit watch i'll show you here i called in the chauffeur yeah, yeah, and the car's gonna spawn to right next to me 
it's it doesn't charge you anything or anything but dude, it's gonna take you forever to get back to the agency especially the way the guy drives it constantly keeps crashing into everything i'm gonna show you this is some funniness dude this is crazy bro watch this okay so there's the suv that you get into and he's just gonna like drive you you can't even fast travel with this all you do is just tell him B to hurry up. You press B to make him hurry up, and that's it, or A or whatever it is. And he'll go faster, but going faster, he's gonna crash into everything. Watch, look at how terrible this guy drives. Terrible. Look at this, watch. Crashing into walls, driving into everything, killing, running people over, crashing into walls over here, crashing into poles. Guy has no idea what the hell he's doing. I don't know. So anyway, those are just a few things I wanted to show you if you haven't if you haven't bought the agency yet. Cool couple things, you know, that you can do. I don't want to do any gameplay because I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. Do it by yourself the first time, man. It's fun. It's fun doing it by yourself. It's a little challenging, but it is a lot of fun. You know what I mean? So um, basically, it's pretty much what I thought it was going to be, man. I was like dead on about a lot of the things. You know, it's going to it's set up somewhat like a heist type of thing. You got to do some setup missions, go, you know, track some things down. And it's just like I said, you know, um, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, a couple things that maybe you guys may or may not know if you haven't seen it, you know, hopefully you stay away from those things. Don't buy the armory. It's not important. Don't buy, um, what else? Don't buy the, the, the heavy, uh, rifle. It's not important right now. I know you might want a new weapon and you're excited to get it, but it's nothing great. Stick with the special carbine. If you have the Mark II special carbine, it's the same thing. It seems like it's the same exact thing to me. So, all right, guys, uh, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to be live again tonight, grinding out some things. Um, but they did, uh, they did a really good job on this. I'm very, very happy with it. I love it. So, all right, peace guys. Have a good day.